The chances of a missed approach are fairly great at an airport like this because the minimum descent height is pretty high. Actually, there's an AWOS at this airport, and I don't think that I would even try the approach unless it were reporting a ceiling above the MDH. While we might know that the approach is a miss if the runway is not in sight at the MDA when a mile and a quarter from the end of the runway, the missed approach procedure should not be started until at the missed approach point, which is the end of the runway. These missed approach procedures are specific. This one says to go direct to the Kessel VOR. Some others might specify a radial to intercept and fly. So, here, would you press direct at the missed approach point and make the turn and then go intercept what was a track direct from the MAP to Kessel? Or would you make the turn toward Kessel and then go from the completion of the turn direct to Kessel? I would do the latter because that's what the depiction on the chart looks like and a picture's worth a thousand words. I have done it both ways at this airport and if you fly a heading to intercept that track from the missed approach point to Kessel, the airplane is pointed at some higher terrain for a moment before the intercept is made. You can also see on the terrain display that you don't have a lot of time to fly by the missed approach point and straight ahead trying to figure out what to do next. Knowing exactly where you are in an approach is imperative at all airports, but even more so at mountain airports. The departure procedure for this airport ensures that you're not going to launch from here in really scuzzy weather. The departure procedure is shown on a Jepson chart on the page with the airport diagram and in the front of the book and government charts with an alert that it's there on the approach chart. Here, word is to climb visually so as to cross the airport at or above 2,400 feet and then climb northeast to 5,000 feet. The procedure says to climb on a heading of 033 to intercept the 213 radial of Kessel, but 033 is hardly an intercept heading, being the reciprocal. The operative thing would be to intercept that radial. A strong wind might dictate a heading pretty far from 033 to accomplish this. With a GPS, you could start out flying a track of 033 and then fine-tune the track to intercept the radial. Remember, until you're in radar contact, you don't have any backup on a procedure like this.